Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing? Ooh. Who do I see? I see over on Twitch, I see Efo, Hydrated Pelican, Amber Wakeling, Plum 14, Master Temple, Pat Carters, hello. Who's over on YouTube then? Coin 101 Hope, Les Likes Coin, Sophia the Gamer, Eclipse, Faye, Pr the Princess Goddard, hello to you too. Hello, Coin Pig, and uh, Francis Palmer, Leanne Parker, Ghost Girl 190. Wow, there's those people. Busy day today, aren't we? Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. Pat Carter's hosting the stream over on Twitch. Thank you very, very much for that. Barry Solinger. Mr. Avocado D. Zolt. William Holloway. Sickness for the FCCCCC. Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. Now, how do I Pelicans hosting the stream? Thank you very, very much. Johnny A. Cantu Jr. says, Hi Chris, I'm a new subscriber. Hello to you. Thank you for subscribing. And Sam Durant loves the videos. Thank you very much. Deborah Gibson says, Hi hi Chris, can I go into any bank and ask for 50p's and 10p's? Thank you. Uh, it's tough to say. It depends on your bank, to be fair. Um, lots. I've heard lots of people say the one bank's really good and other people have said that same bank is really, really bad. Who's ready for some silver-coloured metal things that we used to pay? I am. I'm ready. We've got a few minutes before we'll start. So let's have a look. Who else have we got? Johnny, uh, we said you, Dub Kurt, uh, Leanne Parker, Sam Durant, Canadian Ryan, hello, Laughter's here. Hello, hello, Laughter. Good evening. <laughs> Gracie XXX, Kieran's here. Shalom to you. Coin Cupboard, hello. Depends on the bank title, exactly. Mr. B747. Our website is now open on Google. Rough tree coin insets. If anyone wants any insets like Christopher's 50 pin two pound albums. Wow, there you go. Thank you very much, Canadian Ryan, for super chatting 99 cents. A little cool sunglasses emoji. Hello, Katie Jones. Dan Games and Vlogs. Caledonian Coins is here. Marcus LePage, Jackie Jones, Archie Toms, Ferox Hawk. 16 Keehan Reagan. When are we going to the mint? Uh, on the uh, 14th. 1 pm tour on the 14th. Why is Hydrated Pelican painting Master Temple green? I'm green today. I got my green. All all I want for Christmas is Q Jumper on. I've got the little medal. Coins of Lauren and Maya sent me for winning the um, coin tuber. Uh, Mega Hunt. We're bringing you all the luck today. They still have Black Friday running, do they? Hope I found some decent stuff tonight. You and me both. You and me both. Hello, Duvetto. Trying to get a new method of watching tonight. Laptop whilst I get some work done. Bonus for my multitasking. Well, well done to you. What do I want for Christmas? Well... The, the jumper says it all. The jumper says it all. <laughs> Sammy Boy Vlog says, Hello, new subscriber. Thank you for subscribing. Meg Lewis says, For some reason, watching your videos calms me down a lot. Ah, well, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy them. Hello, Freddie Wimhurst. Wow, we've got all the coin tubers in today, haven't we? I've seen Laughter. I've seen Caledonian Coins. Um, I've seen Coin Cupboard. What other coin tubers have we got in? Hello, reach the border. Uh, Garen Davis says, hi, old subscriber. Thank you very much, Sickness, for the fic. Total Coins is here. I did, I'm not going to miss you. I hadn't seen you talk. I hadn't seen you talk. I didn't want to assume that you were going to be here. Ever hopeful. 4 minutes, 6 p.m. I know I'm well early today, aren't I? This isn't usually what I do. My wheel has been early. Dan Games and Dan Games and Vlogs is here. Minimal Giraffe says, "Hi Chris, how are you? Today? I'm great, thank you. I'm a little bit, a little bit. Um, I've been looking at pennies too long today. <laughs> I've put off looking through the pennies for a while, and now I have an awful lot to get through. Although I'm about halfway through. I'm about halfway through, and I'll be doing some this evening to finish that off because the video needs to go up on Tuesday. World record penny hunt update on Tuesday." 
Exciting times, exciting times. What's in the brink this time? What's in the brink? In the brink? Brink, brink, brink. What do you mean brink? I can love it. It says my birthday is on Tuesday. Well, I hope you have a fantastic birthday. Can we have Q? Ah, uh, who knows? You also have a plonker me, says Dave UK. Amazing. Make a suit of bunny 50p's. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. I feel like it's going to be a good hunt today. Wow. Fingers crossed. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Couldn't be finished editing a video about one minute ago. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Katie Holmes here. Hello to you, Katie. I did buy a new graphics card for my computer on Black Friday. Did you? Ah. Very cool. Got the same jumper as Coin Cupboard on. There we go, see? <laughs> There's an endorsement. What colour did you get for Steve? <laughs> Are you sharing? Uh, Millie Bailey found three new £2 coins today. Holy Toledo, that's good going. Which ones did you find? Good luck for tonight from the Saint family. Thank you, Lee Saint. When is Coin Cupboard doing a live? I'm not sure. Coin Cupboard, when are you doing a live stream next? People on Twitch, what are they? Boxing. Is that the coin you think we're going to find? Or is that one of your new hobbies, Amber? Are you going, are you going to be a boxer? I don't know, everyone called him Chris. I do prefer Christopher, I must admit. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have made the channel Chris Collects. It's December the 1st, it is. Holy Toledo, it's finally, it's finally got to December. Can you imagine it? Coin Pig doesn't like the green shirt, prefers the black shirt. Oh, well, there we go. It is available in black. Black, red, blue. Black, red, blue, and black, red, blue, and green. What I'm wearing, duh. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you as well, Master Temple. I guess we're allowed to say that now, aren't we? Have we all been listening to our Christmas music? Christmas songs on the radio? Steve gets a black bar humbug one. <laughs> How do you get your coins from the bank? I have business accounts which make a difference in some places. Uh, Dave Cullen Photography says, hope you get your wrestling tonight. No! No, 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 no. Unbelievable. We don't want a wrestling on the live stream. We want wrestling on the videos. Christmas countdown. 25 days until Christmas. Holy tilly do. And I haven't even bought one Christmas present yet. Unbelievable. Why don't we want it on the live stream? Well, we've got it for the live streams. <laughs> we've got it twice for the live streams, but not once for the YouTube books. The YouTube books are separate. Do I watch Marvel movies? Yeah, sometimes. They're not my favourite movies, but they're all right. I just suddenly realised I haven't checked I've got the right books. Yes, I do. That's not the right book, though. That one is. And that one is. What was this one? No, not that one. As ever organised. As ever organised. It's six o'clock. Holy Toledo. Yes, time is flying away. So what are we doing there? We are looking through the 10 Ps. 2018 and 2019. Every letter of the alphabet has something quintessentially British on. Sam Durant says, hello, please mention me and my friend Josh. Hello, Sam and Josh. Samuel and Josh. So for 2018, we've got B for Bond. We've got F and G. L and M. And the letter I. N, Q, P, R. V. T and U. And then 2019, we've got the sum total of E and G, L and K, H and I, X and V. So we've got lots to get. Can you just sing the whole All I Want for Christmas is You song to make my job easy? No way, Coin Universe. Not going to happen. And I'm, I'm keeping an eye out for you. Keeping an eye out for you. Scissors. Sickness for the fix. Says I've got one of those books. Awesome. Imagine if they made a Santa 50p. There's a uh, territories, isn't there? Um, who are the territories? Is it? 
Isle of Man or is it Gibraltar? I forget now. And we've got the Santa Christmas DB. There's definitely a Santa one. I think it might be Gibraltar is my guess. Although I defer to the greater knowledge of other people in the chat. Where's Frankie Franks when you need them? That's just Gibraltar. There we go, see? Got a lot of loose coins here. What is going on with these bags? Might just get some food at some point, not eating yet. Ah, I had a very late lunch. So I'm all good for a bit. Right then, let's see if the bag bags are lucky. Two to coin degrees, it's Gibraltar for the Santa 50p. It's quite a cool design to be fair. Now wouldn't that be a good find, now that we're on the countdown to Christmas. Although we're not on the countdown to Christmas, we're on the countdown to the new Star Wars film. <laughs> Christmas is good, but we've got a, a new Star Wars film to get to first. Can you believe it, that's finally coming out. Laugh says drop a like on the stream. Word is the more likes the stream to get, the more lucky it is. Ah, there we go. There we go. Leon Buck says, hi Christopher, please say hello. Hello to you. I hope it snows this Christmas. As long as it snows after I go to the Royal Mint, that's fine. As long as it melts again before I go in January. I'm assuming that the strike your own will change in January as well. January 1st, we'll have a new strike your own. Why are you keeping an eye out for you if you're innocent? <laughs> oh, wow. Who knows what you could stitch together and make me say. Hydrated Pelican doesn't like snow. I don't mind snow. The problem is it gets in the way, and it won't go away once it's there. You'll find three K, E and W. <laughs> I love it, Adam. That's awesome. Could you imagine it? If we got the letter K, E, W, and then we found a Q. As in the, the Q garden, not the Q as in the letter Q, which... Um, is Caledonian Coins still here? Can I go near, 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 near to Caledonian Coins? <laughs> the shoe is firmly on the other foot at the moment with that. We need a Boba Fett coin, definitely. There's our first find. It's a Guernsey tomato plant from 1992. When do I check NAFC is? Uh, I don't check them on the 10Ps. The 50Ps I will check after the stream. I'll be on my Discord server, the voice chat. <laughs> Hello, Womble Alley Collects. Uh, never done an actual coin search before, but I really want to. Well, go for it. What do you have to lose? Apart from getting addicted to doing it and then hoarding coins. <laughs> As I'm sure many people in the chat will agree to. My dad built a snowman with more than what I big nose. Your dad built a snowman with a big nose. Great. Did you see me going loopy on Friday's stream? What was I doing Friday? Holy Toledo, CoinPig has super chatted two pounds said I hope you are correct, otherwise Christmas is, otherwise Christmas in 2020. There we go. Thank you very much CoinPig. Oh, that reminds me, CoinPig's got a giveaway at the moment, hasn't he? So head on over to CoinPig's channel. Nice prizes as well. Ugh, look at that. Unbelievable. Master Templar is addicted to coins now, thanks to Christopher. <laughs> oh dear. 
I take full responsibility. So yeah, the Discord, you do have to be over 13 to be on Discord. That's their rules, not my rules. We just have to enforce them to stay compliant. That was Monday's and Wednesday's stream when the tripod failed. <laughs> Rider is epic. I completed my book finally. <gasps> Did you? Wow, well, well done you. Very good going. My last week has been pretty manic. But it's all good because I am now quite far ahead on my recording. I was going a little bit behind. Did you not like how good you were at singing when your little stitched together video? Oh, that's amazing. Don't tell Bungle. <laughs> I don't know exactly how to use Discord. By the way, I'm 13. There's plenty of people in there that give you a helping hand. Plenty of people there that can give you a helping hand on how to use Discord. Well, I've got all my lucky totems and all we found so far is a Guernsey 10p. Unbelievable. Up to Aiden Collects UK says hi. I'm the only one on Twitch. I don't think you are. There's a fair few people over on Twitch. I have a slavery coin, but it says 1840. Is that rare? Uh, not quite. I don't think so. I didn't. The, the only abolition of the slave trade that's the rare one is one with a smooth um, finish on the in, internal bit of it, the silver middle bit. Not silver as in precious metal silver, but silver as in the colour. Question for the chat as well, because I am being bombarded with the same question at the moment. How many of you in chat can know what the difference is between JC and IRB? on the obverse of a coin. What is the significance of it? I'm gonna ask you guys for a change instead of being asked myself. Do you collect five pound coins? Not yet. Although when that queen five pound coin comes out, I don't think I'll be able to stop myself. More letters on it. <laughs> Fourth and fifth portrait. There we go, Master Temple days. Queen's portrait, coin cupboard nose. Why are coins on the carpet blurred? It's because the autofocus on this isn't up to much. So I can either, well, when I use the autofocus, it jumps around like, a, like an idiot. So I, I've yet to figure out getting a decent camera. Because it's, it's the fine for this camera, because this camera, the view doesn't change. But you can see clearly the coins I'm hunting through. That's the important... <gasps> Ooh! Did everyone see that? Did everyone see that? Hello, Tom Ashdown. Thank you for tuning in. Two different artists and portraits. Exactly. Gwen, a head and nose. Queen of Universe thinks it was an E. The coin collector 182 thinks it was an X. Ooh, Gracie XXX or something. Archie Tom saw it. Lopez 073 saw it. There we go, see? Laughter's, laughter's got it there. How's your car coping with the weather? Time to take it back yet. No way, Katie, I love my car. It was the letter F, my favourite. F for fish and chips. What a stunning find. That's good going, isn't it? 2019 as well. Holy Toledo. Well, happy with that. Happy with that. At least you keep coming back and you keep getting the letter F. <laughs> it's my favourite one. 
to be fair, so I, you can keep coming back then. Pretty to fish with fingers. <laughs> I think 2019 alphabets are going to be less mental than 2018. I'm not sure. I think they might, the 2019s might be higher than the 2018s. But I've been wrong before. And no, not with Flopsy Bunny. We all know alphabetically speaking. Flopsy Bunny was the rarest one. We'll put, we'll, we'll, I'll say that now before Alex and Coin Cupboard and all you other Team Peter Rabbits jump in on me. <laughs> Total Coins is Team Peter Rabbit, weren't you as well? Disappointing stuff. Disappointing stuff. Catalonian Coin says JC stands for Jingly Currency. IL, IRB stands for It's Real Bling. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> What's my favourite 50p from this year? Um, ooh, that's a tough one. I would probably say Sherlock. Oh, no, wait. Stephen Hawking, that was this year, wasn't it? That one. Hello, Mark B. Coin 101 was Flopsy all the way as well. Laughter was Team Flopsy. There we go. Uh, Liam Parker's got no new 10Ps yet. Well, they are very elusive. They are very tough to come by. Sixteen Keen Reagan's favourite is Wallace and Gromit. What about everyone else then? What's your been your favourite fifty P of this year? Fifty years D Day. Very nice. Hey Christopher, what if they made classic movies fifty P set? Oh yes, that would be awesome. Classic movies, definitely. <laughs> Bungle Collect says that <laughs> coin coin comes to loads of a flopsy buddy. Hey, see, Bungle, Bungle was, was Team Flopsy, weren't you? Hello, Pikachu fan182. Crystal, do you think it would be a good idea to have a set of coins where the fir uh, with, with the very first strike with date and time of all the past coins of the last 200 years? I think it would be a brilliant idea. Uh, you mean replicating the designs of previous coins in a set? Yeah, why not? I think that'd be cool. Really do you think there should be a Wind in the Willows set? Definitely, that's a good idea. What's the rarest £2 coin? Uh, Commonwealth Games Northern Ireland? Hang about! We just made some money! <laughs> Uh, the rarest MP, I think the old MP is going to be same, the same vintage that the 20, 2018 ones were. It's not undated though. <laughs> but made a bit of profit there. That's a good game. Miss change, usually you, you lose out in the circumstances, exactly. I'm so lucky. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was an undated 20p as well? That would have been pretty bonkers. Hey, what's the best thing you found all weekend in your 10p as well? An undated 20p. <laughs> I think flops would be lower minted silver proof, so this is the raw mint's views on which came out on top. There we go. There's some there, there's some thinking from Dan Temple. I think it'd be a nice idea to have a map of the British Isles across a set of coins that you could collect all of it and put it together to make the whole country. Definitely. Definitely. My phone is shut down before you revealed the coin. What did we find? We found this one. F for fish and chips. It's 
So at least we know we're not going to have the curse of the first bag. Hello, Purple Fairy. Thank you for tuning in. 2018 Peter Silverproof sold out. Flopsy has them. Um, I refer you to my uh, attorney, Mr. Master Temple. He would take my quite. He, he would take all the difficult questions on the Peter Rabbit versus Flopsy Bunny. <laughs> Katie Hull, thank you very much. Katie Hull super chatted £2.99. It's got a little thumbs up pair emoji. Thank you very much. Little does Christopher know that he is singing a song with everything he says. Hmm. <laughs> How long is the stream going to be? We normally finish between half past eight and nine o'clock. Ryan McLeod says, what have I missed? We've got F efficient chips. Best pull so far. We got a 20 pence as well. So we made 10p profit, which is good. That pay for the 10p I'm gonna keep out of this. <laughs> and you also missed a debate about Flopsy Bunny versus Peter Rabbit. Which we, we all know who the winner that really is. We all know who the winner that is. Good evening, Christopher, and all you JQ fans out there. Hello. Oh, it's the JQ that said that. Amazing. Chriscus uh, 9 fluid wants to shout out. There you go. So, if the game was gone, what did you miss? We found F for fish and chips. How hard does it find a letter? It's pretty tricky. In a bag of a hundred pounds, you'd be lucky to find one or two. I joined to Pelican says, I sent you a coin on Instagram. Please have a look and tell me if it's there. I will take a look. I did a bit of a mass reply to all the social media yesterday evening. So for those of you who've been waiting for a reply on messages on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, hopefully I, I'm pretty sure I got around to everyone. Apologies to those of you that messaged, messaged uh, into the Facebook group, the Facebook page. I couldn't quite figure out how to check messages on that. Do you only have knowledge on modern coins? Uh, I've got a bit of knowledge about a fair few coins. I'm by no means an expert. Ooh, can you see that? I don't think you can actually. I'm going to put it the other way around. I'm going to put it the other way around. And we'll reveal it in a moment. What letter do you think it's going to be though? I don't think you guys would have seen that. Ah, Paul Dunn saw it. Laughter saw it. Did he say saw it? There's a lot of you that saw it. <laughs> you put it upside down. <laughs> 2019 H for the House of Parliament. Very cool. What have we got? H and F. Can't complain at that. I was just saying you're lucky to find one on two. We found two. Is it even worth going through the rest of the bag? Mm. One or two is about par for the course. If we can get any more than that, that's an added bonus. What year was it? 2019, I think it was. Isabel Owen says, love your videos. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Alfie K says, apparently Alfie is rich. Very good. Whoops.
Holy Felido. <laughs> Keepers Coins wants a shout out. There you go. Smashing videos, Chris. Thank you very much, Les Lights Coins. Do you have 2016 Peter Rabbit in Silver Reef? I do not. It is far too expensive. It's annoying how expensive that coin is. Do you buy it in bank? I get these coins from the bank, yes. Matthew Whitmore has got an Australian $1 from 1984. Very nice. All I want for Christmas is that slightly annoying cue. <laughs> Hello, Wonder Star Guard. Thank you for tuning in. Does anyone remember at what point last year more A to Z's they announced more A to Z's 2019? Um, ooh, I can't recall. They've got to do more next year, haven't they? They've got to. I mean, Holy Toledo! Three books. Here we go. Word uh, Pup has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very, very much. Whoops, where are you going? How do sellers react on com.coins? Huh? Whoops. Another jumping one. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing great, thank you, Wonder Star Girl. I hope you're doing well as well. Well as well. Does the bank charge money to take up Big Bang's coins? Uh, I've got business accounts, so yes, there is a fee for it. There's a monthly fee and a fee for uh, X amount of money you take out. But it's worth it. Cornish Strib has joined the Hunter on Twitch. Thank you very, very much. But no, the way I look at it, the, even though those fees and charges, you think what other people spend money on their other hobbies. I do think they should do a year when they mint more alphabets, if possible, so the general public can get and enjoy them too, because let's face it, they deserve to be seen. Exactly, exactly. They are very, very elusive. Unless you go to the Royal Mint uh, experience and fill your boots, as many, as many of you have done in the past. Do you ever take any from the post office? Nope, oh, I don't use the post office. My post office has never been particularly helpful, I must admit. Do you find your better luck in sealed bags or non-sealed bags? It's a bit hit and miss, really. Most of the time I get sealed bags. But my best ever £2 coin hunt was a was bag bags. I found two Commonwealth Games in Northern Ireland in one £500 bag. It was pretty bonkers. Did I get the Royal Mint Advent calendar? I didn't, no. One bag of £2 from the post office. One bag of £2 from the post office recently, but wasn't great. <laughs> Do you collect anything else except coins? I collect stamps as well and anything Star Wars. A bit of a sucker for Star Wars stuff. Make Holy Toledo! Coins, not eBay. Um, who is that? Mystic XXXXXXXXX has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very much. Uh, if you don't want to sell it on eBay, Facebook groups maybe is another good bet. Love the videos. My mum has started to collect coins. Any advice for her? Uh, tell as many people as possible that she's collecting coins. The more people that she's got looking out for her, the more chance she has of getting that rare, those rare coins. 
The amount of people I've got that will send that if they find a commemorative coin will send me a picture of it and say, "Oh, do you want this?" And I, uh, someone, a friend of my brother, found an Olympic gold ball, um, and is giving that to me because they don't collect coins and they found it. And I think it's letter R, one of my brother's friends found. Holy Toledo! My mum found the B for Bond and she gave that to me. Sorry for talking about me recently being diagnosed with. Okay. Whatever. Uh, why am I wearing a fez? Uh, Frankie Franks told me if I came back from Tunisia without a fez, he'd be disappointed. So there we go. Find, I found one. And I came back with one. I bet you dream about coins. I don't know. I don't think. I'm not one of these people that remembers dreams, if I'm honest. Do you have some coins from Kazakhstan? I've got a few, yeah. Really um, pretty designs. I was really impressed with them. What's your favourite coin series? Ooh, well, I think I'd have to go Olympics. Did you tell them they were fake and swap them? <laughs> Huzzy's Vlogs and Games has a Palestine coin. Have you now? Yay for Olympics, definitely. I have Peter Robert for Pete, just wondering the worth of it. Depends on what year. There was three different years. Four different years. 16, 17, 18, and 19. And the, well, the 2019 one wasn't intended for circulation. So your chance of finding that about slim to none. But Change Decker did put some out into the wild at their live coin swaps, which is very good of them. Um, but your best bet would probably be the 2018, being the lowest minted one. Hello, Steve Coins and Comics. Coin cover dreamt about coins, but had a strange dream about the F1 last night. I've not watched it yet, so no spoilers, please. <laughs> Where was the Grand Prix this week? Was it Grand Prix? The F1. Whatever. Where, 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 where was the F1 this weekend? How many top four Olympics do you have? I've got all the Olympics at least once. Hello, Fla uh, Flav LS. Just noticed I'm missing Flopsy in your 50 p.m. Well, that's because it's the alphabetically the rarest 2018. Beatrix Potter, that's why you're missing it. <laughs> you like the crab one piece. It's a pretty cool coin, isn't it? Christopher Glex may find a rare coin, but I think nobody can find five NIFCs like Dave did. Oh. Did I get anything on Black Friday? I didn't, know. Nope. Wasn't anything that I needed, really. There's a thing about all the offers at the, like, the Royal Mint. The problem is, I'm too much of a sucker and I can't wait for the offers to come out. I have to have them there and then. It's that fear of missing out. I don't want to miss out one of the silver proofs in my, in my um, collection. What do you think about UK coin hunt getting that comedies? Uh, the same as I think about anyone that finds comedies. They go on my little list. <laughs> they all go on the naughty list. Bet the next 10 people will be the letter B. Well, we've only got one bag left to go. That's boy, boy, Boyle has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very much. Oh dear, we've got staple bags. Staple bags are never any good. Staple bags are never any good. Because it rips it apart. 
which makes it impossible to reuse the bag. Guess a bit of a Krypton factor. What is going on? Oh, I give up. There we go. We're in. We're in. The F1 are, is in Abu Dhabi. Oh, I see. One more letter in this bag. Let's cross our fingers. Do I like fishing? I've never been fishing. Oh, I've been fishing, like, fishing on holiday once. Thomas. Thomas Shadown. 24 has joined the Hunter and Twitch. Thank you very much. I went fishing once when we were in, hol in, in holiday, on holiday in Wales. Um, we went mackerel fishing. It was quite fun. And they tasted really nice as well. Very sweet fish. And I'm not a massive fan of fish, if I'm honest. Hello, Chucky Garden. Holy Toledo. I bet your next coin won't be a cube. That's a, that's a safe bet when we're looking through 10 Bs. <laughs> When did you get it, or did you buy it in your change? Oh, you're talking to someone in the chat. My bad. <laughs> Whoops. Well, it looks like that's all we're going to get in that bag. Favorite of the top five Olympics. Uh, well, my favourite Olympic is gymnastics, but I don't know if that's in the top five. I didn't realise until recently you can actually do Crystal Maze experience, now that would be fun. I don't know, I think... I think I'd very quickly turn into someone you wouldn't want on your team. I would get, I think I would, the kind of person that would get a little bit bossy, because I'm a bit competitive. Uh, right, 2019. They're both 2019s, weren't they? Any of them new? Well, either of them new. Uh, -lo -lo. We've got H. We haven't got F, though. That was 2019, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go. One new one for the book. So we've got three on this page now. Very cool. Are you looking for rare coins? Correct. So every letter of the alphabet has um, something quintessentially British on. They were issued in 2018 and 2019. And that's what we're looking for on the 10 P's. That's the 10 P's done. We've got another bag of them to, to come back to at the end of the, uh, towards the end of the stream. But um, I'm going to wash my hands in a moment. But we'll have 50 bees next as usual so i'm gonna go wash my hands i'll be back in a moment
And we're back. What the entire weight of your coin collection is. Uh, you can see that over on New Mister. At least all the ones that I've logged on there. No drinking on the job. This is coffee. This is just coffee. Um, where have I put my public health announcement as ever? I vape, but you shouldn't vape. And if you smoke, you shouldn't smoke either. So don't vape and don't smoke. Don't be a hopeless addict like me. Hello, Alex. <laughs> Hi, Josie Pelican says, Chris, where can we get a nice token for five pounds? You can get the Christopher Collects Holy Toledo token, which I don't have any to hand at the moment, at www.christophercollects.co.uk. Hello, Pipe Tree. Pipe Tree, wasn't it you that sent in a little box of things in amongst it being this? Was that Pipe Tree? I still don't know what this is. Was that Pipe Tree? I'm planning to go to the Royal Mint next year, as I've not been yet, thinking of making a little holiday with my partner, who puts up with my geeky coin obsession. Wow, I recommend it. Katie Hall sense of wrestling. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it wasn't pipe tree. It was pipe something though, wasn't it? I can't remember who it was now. Right, it's quite enough of that. Who was it? That's going to drive me around the twist. I think it was people that went mudlarking. They had a channel that went, they were mudlarking. Bring on the wrestling. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Look like a bit of a shot to be careful. They might want it back. Let's get it out of the way. Do you still have two Q Gardens? I predict a Flopsy Bunny in a comedy for you tonight. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Darren Cheshire. So we'll look for the year 2008 on the Britannia. That's Britannia. It's the low minted year. And then, when my fingers work, the Shield look for years 2009, 10, 11, 16, and 18, which were not intended for circulation. But also the year 2017 is a low minted year. As I said, after the live stream, I'll be over on my Discord server going through those key dates if you want to have a chat with myself. And all the usual suspects, head on over to Discord. There's our first commemorative. It's a bit grubby. Victoria Cross, the medals. It's quite a common one to find. Saz predicts there's going to be 50 Ps. That's a safe bet, I'd say. That's a safe bet. I'm sure my cousin's got some in Australia. It looks the same. Well, the 50 cents. There are some cool Australian 50 cents designs, to be fair. I found a few in my world coin hunts, but also had some very kindly sent into the PO box. Oops. And we've got another Victoria Cross the medals there. As we said, quite a common one to find. Anyone at Midland Coin Fair? Right. Would you rather a technologies bust or a Britannia and Shield bust? Um, I say Britannia and Shield because at least there's still the key dates to look for then. Whereas I don't look for any of the dates with the technologies. Then we've got girl guides there. Another common one to find.
Yes, so I got three bags of unsealed Paddington's at St Paul's Cathedral. What should I do with them? Your guess is as good as mine on that one. I've kept all mine just in case. Because you never know. Is there value in all 50p's? Well, there's at least 50p's worth of value in it. But if someone needs it for their, for their collection, then sure. Especially the EU presidency one. Oh dear. That's a bit grubby. Could you imagine if that was Kew Gardens? <laughs> that would be a little bit upsetting. Great if they brought up 50 p's with uh, with all the famous landmarks. Definitely. What landmarks would you put on it on a 50p then? Let me know in chat. What landmarks would you want to see on a landmark series of 50 p's? Ooh, we've got our first Olympic Olympic archery. Very nice. I always love finding Olympic. Any uh, hunt where you find an Olympic is. A successful hunt. There we go. They're getting so elusive to find nowadays. Even just finding one is good going. Big Ben. There we go. Stonehenge. Love to see Gray's Monument. Like the state of my Newton the other night. I saw the picture of that. That looked grim. What have you missed? We found three, uh, two letters, two letters, yeah, H and F in the 10 P's, and so far we've got one Olympic, the archery, yesterday I did a 50 P hunt and there was no commemoratives except for one 2017 Beatrix Potter in each bag, oh dear, that sounds like a bag that's already been looked through. Sounds like someone beat you to that bag, unfortunately. Norwich Castle, that's another good idea. I did say it was uh, when I was doing the video with Caledonian coins, a set of coins with with castles and Holy abbeys Toledo. and monasteries and um, cathedrals would be quite good. Cellar Flow has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very much. How many years have I collected? Lots. Lots of different years. It's the commemorative designs I'm more interested in. There's our first 2017 Beatrix Potter, Mr. Jeremy Fisher. He's quite a common one to find. There's our Paddington at the Tower. I see. Last live stream, I admitted to being Team Tower. I still am Team Tower. <laughs> I think the Paddington at the Tower is going to be less minted than the Cathedral. There's another 2017 Peter Rabbit. Very, very common. Hello, Richard Thompson. Humber Bridge. Ah, be a good one. The Clifton Suspension Bridge. Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. Cellar Flow is now hosting the stream of the viewer. Thank you. There's our first Rodney Rabbit. Rodney Bunny. I must have added him to the counter. <laughs> this is auto it's almost like an automated process whenever I see one. There we go, another one just to prove how common they are. What made me start collecting? I've collected things on and off since I was a kid and coins being one of those things and I started again in what, 2018. I started making the videos, 
the videos were quite successful and I'm still here doing it almost two years later. A donkey bunny. <laughs> There's another Peter Rabbit from 2017. Team Cathedral. I think I might be in the minority if I think thinking that the, the tower is going to be the lowest minted one. I might be in the minority of opinion there. There's Paddington at the Cathedral. Very cool design. Hello Dylan 12. Right, give me one moment. Hercules. Oh, imagine, imagine finding one of the trials of Hercules. Wouldn't that be good? That would be pretty bonkers, wouldn't it? I reckon the chance of finding that is pretty slim to none, though. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Uh, why can't I find... Ah, that's what I need. Is that right? Bear with me a moment. Whoops, I can't spell. Just doing some housekeeping on the on the Twitch. Wait, where's everything gone? <laughs> there we go. We're back. Right, what did I miss? Uh, do you have the full collection? Yes, I've got all the 50Ps at least once. I finished one book. I've almost finished my second book on my YouTube videos, and I'm working on another book on the live streams now. We've got Battle of Britain there, which is very cool. But it could be an IRB. So uh, you can find two initials. It's only on the Battle of Britain it matters. IRB was uh, Ian Rank Broadly that was only issued for the collector sets, whereas JC was Jody Clark, which was issued um, for the general circulation. So if you find an IRB one, it means someone's busted it out of their collector's book, collector's set. Um, let's have a look to see what we've got there. You can see there, this one's just a JC. One of these days we will find an IRB. Battle of Britain. Someday it might come true. <laughs> oh, we got Paddington at the cathedral there. Very cool. Let's see, we go. So we found two cathedrals and one tower. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. Bungle, what do you think? Team Cathedral or Team Tower? Is it is anyone else actually Team um, Team Tower? Is it just me? It can't just be me. There's a Battle of Hastings, which is very nice. Slightly over face value as well. Holy Toledo! And Alex Blondon and Total Coins over on Twitch. You've been promoted to moderator. Thank you very much for your <laughs> for being volunteered. Ooh, we got a 2017 shield there. Very nice. Uh, 
2017 Shields are definitely keepers. St. Paul's will be the lowest. Oh no. Bungle disagrees with me. Is anyone Team Tower? Is anybody Team Tower? Is it just me? All of my Todd? Questionable Coins is Team Tower. Coin 101 Hope is Team Tower. Ashley Sparrowhawk is Team Tower. As is Archie Toms. Caledonian Coins is Team Cathedral. Coin 101 Hope says it's your birth brother's birthday too. Well, I hope he has a great birthday. Darren Cheshire is Team Tower. NFFC13 is Team Tower. Amber Wakeling's Team Tower, and so is Lynn Mills. Total Coins is undecided. A bit lonely there. We've got a few people. We've got a few people. We've got a few people on the side of Team Tower. Victoria Cross, heroic act there. It's alright, the lonelier I am on Team Tower, the greater it will be when it turns out that I'm right and you're all wrong. <laughs> Could you imagine it? Hi Christopher, just joined this live live hunt, what did you miss? Uh, the 10 P's we found two letters, J and H. Uh, we found Olympic Archery and the Battle of Hastings and 2017 Shield. And we're discussing whether Paddington at the Tower is going to be rarer than uh, Paddington at the Cathedral. We've got a Mrs. Tiggy Winkle there from 2016, very nice. Could Sherlock be lower than both Paddingtons? Could you imagine that? Could you imagine that? I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so. That would be a dark horse though, wouldn't it? Oh, there we go. What was that now? Three, three, three cathedrals, one tower. <laughs> just saying, just saying. Letter J, thought you found letter F. Did I say J? F, F and H we found. Did I say J? I can't remember what I said now. Is anyone Team 19 Shield? Nobody's going to be Team 19 Shield that much. I could tell you for free. Hey Christopher, how are you? Very long time no see. It's me, Cloud the Muffin Gamer. Hello to you. I hope you're well. Tower looks like a nicer coin. Mm. We've got another Battle of Hastings. Holy moly. Very nice. And a Benjamin Britten. Which is another cool find. Put a bit of a bag on me. A bit of schmutz, whatever that was. Benjamin Britten. Not my favourite design, but it's a nice coin to find. Definitely Team Shield. <laughs> oh no, I lost someone that was Team Tower to the Team Shield. Team Peter Pan. Amazing. Could you say a big hello to the stool holders at Kakodi Carboot Sale? Oh, hello to you all. Where's Wedge? Who knows? The cat has a mind of its own. It's probably out killing something. It's probably where that, that cat is. Although it's been a while since since there's been a since he's brought something back in the house. Queen Universe just had a nice bath. Very good. Six hundred and still haven't found a Benjamin Britten. Hope to hear. Found a dateless twenty P last week, sold it for sixty pounds. Wow. Very nice. X Moo Moo X found three pence this morning on the floor. There we go.
Positive vibes to the queue. Well, you never know. You never know. Could you imagine it though? Wouldn't that just be great? Master Temple has a theory. The towers were released into towns and cities with castles, and St. Paul's was released into cathedral cities. Just a thought. Well, there are no castles. Um, or cathedrals in Basingstoke. So. <laughs> I don't know. Hello, Emily Ellis. What have you missed? Uh, we have found Olympic archery, two battle of Hast battles of Hastings. Battle of Hastings. Three battle of Hastings. Holy moly. Uh, Benjamin Britten and the Tempes we found F and H. Katie Hall says, I have no cathedrals and it's all I seem to get. Ah, so what team are you, Katie Hall, then? Are you team cathedral or are you team tower? I thought the pub was called the castle. <laughs> Perth has a cathedral. Yep, we are swamped with towers. There we go, Katie Hall's team tower. Team tower, we're, we're, we're growing, we're growing. It's the snowball effect. I swear they're going to be the same mintages again. <laughs> and we'll have to figure out a way to make sure that the tower wins. I guess if it was issued first, it would be for, it would be the um, what the tower? Yeah, the tower was issued first. Wrestling coming up soon. Well, we haven't got many bags to go for it to appear. Have you Olympic swimming with the waves over the face? I do not know. Katie Hole, do you have Instagram? I have 62 cathedrals. Wow. Pretty good going. Nothing else in that bag? <laughs> Hundred percent team cathedral, unbelievable. You find find a queue in the next three bags. Well, we've only got four bags left to go to be fair, so it has to be pretty soon. Ooh, that's a nice one. The Beatrix Potter anniversary. Lovely. That's two twenty sixteen Beatrix Potters we found now. It's good, but it's no puddle duck. There we go. Four cathedrals, one tower. Four cathedrals, one tower. Uh, that is four cathedrals, four cathedrals. One, two, three, four. And one tower. <laughs> <laughs> Got 13 Paddingtons at the Cathedral State. Holy moly. What time have you set for your next Royal Mint Tour? 1 o'clock on the... I keep trying to check this. Is it the 14th or the 12th? 14th. 1 o'clock. Four... 14th? Did I say 14th? I've only just checked this. Come on. 14th. 1 o'clock on the 14th. And I'll aim to get there a bit before. But if you're planning your Royal Mint trip, if you are in the local area, you want to come and say hi. There's a bunch of other coin tubers coming. But who's who's booked it then? Let me know in the comments who's coming on the 14th. Wait. Hello, Miss Hezzy. Total Coins is coming. Do you pay for the Roman tour? Yes. It's not much though. <laughs> Bungle Collects Coins is coming. Peter 
pound is rarer. That would be five cathedrals and one tower. Five cathedrals, Juan Tower. <laughs> Can you tell I'm enjoying this? <laughs> So we're going to find a whole bunch of towers and I'm going to keep quiet. <laughs> I'm just going to throw them off to the side, slip them up my sleeve. So many cathedrals today. Wow, yes, let me see. Let me see. Team tower. Team tower. We've got two bags left. Hope to see you next year. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'll probably be going in January again because, like I said, I would imagine it's going to change in January. And if it follows previous precedents, it'll be the it'll be a 2020. That's kind of bonkers, isn't it? 2020. A 2020 uh, Britannia 50p. Ooh. We've got our uh, second Olympic. Because she's only like the Count from Sesame Street. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Five cathedrals. Olympic fencing. Very, very nice. That's two Olympics. Right, let's move you people along. There we go. Oh, not people, they're coins. I don't know what I'm jabbering about. Two blokes fighting again, yes. <laughs> not the two blokes that we're looking for, though. We are on to the last bag of this bag. Do you think Paddington's will ever creep over face value? I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, the mintage figure of the 2018 Paddington's isn't astronomical. So it would not surprise me, if I'm honest. But we found two Olympics. Which is really good going. But to be fair, I've got three three battles of battle, three battle of Hastings as well. Is pretty good. Found anything good yet? What are we looking for? Well, the Olympic fifty p's are very very nice to find. That's our two star pulls. But were any of them new for the book? Who knows? Let's have a look. I didn't show the book, did I? So we've got. All of the ones on the first page, with the exception of Kew Gardens. We're missing Olympic Athletics and Olympic Football. So we've got Fencing and Archery, so they're not new. We are missing Olympic Shooting and Olympic Rowing. Olympic Triathlon and Wheelchair Rugby. And we've got all the other ones up to and including... The most common of the 2019 Paddington's, Paddington at the, at the cathedral. So there we go. But I'm going to go wash my hands because they're looking very, very grim. They were dirty coins today, weren't they? Unbelievably so. So I should be back in a moment.
That wasn't the button I meant to press. I saw that UK coin hunt found a Q recently. He hasn't found another, has he? Hopefully Toledo. He is the luckiest person on this planet, isn't he? If he's found another one. I wish that was my kind of luck. Hello, Jim Bone. How am I? I'm great, thank you. I hope you're well as well. Got a couple of Sherlock Holmes ones. Very nice. It's good, but it's not quite wrestling. What's well, good, but not quite wrestling? <laughs> What's good, but not quite wrestling? Next hunt, we've got two pound coins next, which we'll be getting into in a moment. Drop bags. Team comedies. Ugh. Let's not. Although we do need comedies, to be fair. We do need comedies for the book, so I wouldn't be as disappointed finding a... What? I keep banging into this for. I wouldn't be too disappointed finding comedies here. I might be a little bit. Just a little bit. Who knows? Who knows? A good tip for hunting 50ps is to ask for the oldest 50p bag they have. Mm. Not if you want the 2018 Beatrice Potters, though. Yo, Fizz, man, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great, thank you, Darren. I hope you're doing well as well. Well as well. Right, so that's technology. We don't want technologies. Oh, we need stuff for the book, don't we? We need to get the book. Oh, there's our first commemorative, though. The DNA Double Helix. It's a cool design, but it's a very common one to find. The only thing I found this week is a 1977 Old Britannica, and the shopkeeper said some cowboy paid him with it. <laughs> Amazing. So what are we missing in £2 coins, then? We are missing Commonwealth Games Scotland. Uh, we've got a full page here, as you can see. And we're missing the World War One Navy Centenary, the flag error. And we're not going to talk about that one. We're not going to talk about that one. And then we have the last two. Christmas lights, yeah, I've got my Christmas lights up. They're neon lights. They're pretty cool, I like them. Got Frankie in my hunt, do you? You've had Frankie Franks doing your videos. Oh, what's going on here? Bags are attached. Oops, I've had a bit of a spillage there. Will you all just stay still? There we go. Are there any rare dates of two pound coins? There are some. Oh, this bag's idiot proof. What's going on with this? Got him. Um, so there are some years that are slightly lower mintages, but they're not low enough that I think they're worth keeping. Uh, we've got St. Paul's there. Obviously, where the uh, um, second rarest 2019 Paddington uh, 50p is. The VE Day anniversary. It's a common one to find, much like the Paddington at the, at the uh, cathedral. And then we've got the abolition of the slave trade with the textured finish. Which, like I've said, with the smooth finish, um, that was only put into the collector's sets. So if someone's busted it out of their set and has spent it or paid it into the bank, there's a chance you might find one. Uh, no coins to collect has come across one that was in circulation. Q Gardens worth uh, 85 to 125 pounds, or they're probably a little bit more than 85 because so 85 was the bottom end of the price when I last found one. Oh, it's well over a year ago now. Uh oh, <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> uh, what do we think? 
What do we think? What do we think this might be then? <laughs> Don't you dare, Alex. Don't you dare, Alex. Got problems on YouTube. You keep freezing. Uh, try, try over on Twitch then. Have a go at Twitch. Mm, I'm really wor a bit worried. Everyone's saying comedies. Everyone is saying comedies. Apart from Duvetto. Apart from Duvetto. And GSA Wolf Coins. Oh, it's the Navy Centenary. Woohoo! Oh, I'm so pleased to see that. I am so pleased to see that coin. <laughs> Well, I'm chuffed with that. Very happy with that. God, everyone, everyone wanted that to be a comedy, didn't they? <laughs> That's a nice condition one as well. That's a very nice condition one as well. We've got the active union there. That's a common one. Not the error. That's true. That is true. But as long as it wasn't comedies, I was happy. <laughs> oh. I didn't want to add that to the list of coins that I've been hunting for ages on YouTube that I found on the live streams, if I'm honest. Phew. Lucky break. Oh, I feel it. I'm feeling lucky. Holy Toledo. So what's everyone's best find for the week then? Since the last live stream. Or the last live stream you tuned into. What's the best find? Send me a lucky fez so I can find a queue. No way, Jose. I need all the luck I can get. There we go, Alex Blonde found a wrestling. Everyone, round of applause for Alex. He found a wrestling. No comment. <laughs> I'm awake and found a boxing. Uh, Redsky found a Paddington at Buckingham Palace. Very nice. Master Temple 77 Britannia. Found myself spiritually Kappa. Hey, what? Don't get it. Adam Jones found judo. Martin Ross found four Olympics, including triathlon. Holy moly. Darren Cheshire found a Stephen Hawkins. Mm. Comedies from Bucks Coins. Oh, Frankie Frank's saying that someone's so, someone's chatting rubbish. <laughs> We've got a Guy Fawkes here. Another common one to find. Could you make a living out of selling 50p's, do you think? Uh, you'd have to search through an awful lot of coins. But the thing is, although, yes, some of them are quite valuable, the reason they're valuable is because you don't have very good chances of finding them. Um, and they're the ones you'd make your margins on. And so the common ones you're going to be making very small margins on. So like I said, unless you are looking through an industrial quantity of coins. Another guy forks there. I wouldn't say it'd be worth it because also you've got to factor in the time it takes to post and list them and uh, postage and packaging and shipping things out and then the people that will claim that they never arrived and what on earth happened to that one? So someone's whacked that one. Someone's put a big old dent in that one. Weird. Bruno's Arches, the achievement at Paddington Station there. Post-mint damage, definitely. Definitely post-mint damage. Got a feeling that we're going to lose you. What? Gonna lose me? Is Commonwealth Games Scotland rare? Yes. All four of the Commonwealth Games are 
exceedingly rare. The rarest two pound coins in circulation. Wait, we've got the rugby there. That's a common one to find. And we've got Bruno's portrait. Paid eighty pounds for circulated. Circulated what? You circulated what? Kew Gardens. I don't know, like I think it'd be worth eighty pounds buying. It's a good, good, uh, good price to get it for eighty pounds there. Eighty pounds for your pied foot, PA four, whatever you want to call it. Summer for Life X. I found a rope this week. I know it's common, but well, every collection needs one, doesn't it? And if you needed one in your collection. It's a good find. Dual date. Oh, eighty pounds for a dual date. Yeah, that's fairly reasonable, isn't it? It's a bit on the bit, of, bit on the upper end of the value. That's a shiny one coming up. We've got Brunel's portrait again. And the shiny one. It's just shiny technologies. Did I say copy on it? No, it's just IRB. I thought it said copy on it. I was about to say. Unbelievable. Have I watched Half Sleep Chris's new video? I did watch the first bit of it. I'm not all the way through it. The PA Box one. Very impressive stuff. He puts a lot of time and effort into his videos. All the stop go motion. I have no idea. It must take him an absolute eternity to put those videos together. Uh, I bought the 1933 BU set that has the dual dates in it for £65 a week. Wow, that's a good, that's a good price. Uh, we've got Bruno's portrait there. And we've got Lord Kitchener. There we go. And the abolition of the slave trade again. Keep that shiny 2013 two pounds. Looks to be a bunk. Nah. Oh dear. Oh dear. We're rolling the dice again here. We're rolling the dice again here. What do we think? What are we thinking? I know what you guys are thinking. I don't even know why I'm asking. I don't even know why I am asking. Because I know exactly what you're going to say. <laughs> oh dear. Is WWF free to be valuable? It's a bit over face value, yeah. It's lots of people's favourites as well. Have I ever found a smooth 1807? I haven't yet, no. Oh, well, we're getting a bit of a mixed bag here. Great Five London. I wouldn't mind that. I like the Great Five London one. But it is. Ooh, there we go. Uh, the World War One centenary, the army, shoulder to shoulder. We've dodged another comedies. Whoops. We've got the abolition of the slave trade again. <laughs> I love how everyone is rooting for that to be comedies. I bet even the people that didn't say comedies that said something else secretly inside them wanted it to be a comedies. After you look through the coins, what do you do with the regular ones? They go back. I pay them into another bank. Uh, so it means I don't get the same coins twice from the same bank. Active union there. And my favourite circulating two pound coin, Florence Nightingale. Very pretty design. Are you ever thinking of doing a fan meet? Uh, well, I'll go to the Royal Mint on the 14th, one o'clock, South Wales. If you want to come along, as with previous Royal Mint um, tours, feel free to come along and say hi. What's your number one film? Oh, it's got to be Star Wars Return of the Jedi. 100% outside of Star Wars. Silence of the Lambs. But no, when we ever go to the Royal Mint, I'm always there for a, a long old time. I'm not just there, wham, bam, tour done, strike going, got and home. I will hang out for the majority of the day there. I live in Guernsey, so I don't have much hope of, help it, of, of meeting you. 
Well, if I ever go to the territories. Ah, if you live in the Guernsey then, are all the 50ps you find all Guernsey ones? All the coins you find, are they all Guernsey ones? Or do you get a mixture of like circulating mainland UK coins? That's the um, St. Paul's VE Day Anniversary. You should do a coin hunt in the Isle of Man or another territory. I think that would be an exceptional idea. What music am I into? I like Queen and David Bowie and I like crooners. So Sinatra, Dean Martin, Andy Williams, the Mills Brothers, that kind of stuff. Old fashioned music. We've got Guy Fawkes there again. That's our third Guy Fawkes. Do you think there will be any Disney coins? Probably not because Disney is a US company and everything on UK coins is a UK thing. Uh, in every change I get Guernsey Freesia flowers. Wow. That would be good, wouldn't it? Another St. Paul's. Can you tell us the following again for circulating? 2018 Snowman. No. 2019 Snowman. No. 2019 Santa. Santa? I'm not sure. The Poppy. No. Jersey Zoo. No idea. Dinosaur 50 Ps. We won't know. We don't know yet. We won't know until next year. But potentially, maybe. Because obviously, they, they made the dies for some more Beatrix Potter ones last year, which weren't used. Uh, we were told it was down to because of Brexit's uncertainties. I wonder if they will come out next year or whether are they going to ditch Beatrix Potter in favour of dinosaurs? Who knows? But this is the last bag of the two pounds. We'll be going back to the 10 peas after this bag. But it looks like we've got another live stream without finding that comedies. Which I won't lie, I'm a little bit relieved about. But we did get one very, very nice find. A very nice quality Navy Centenary. Or the World War One Centenary, the Navy. What's the most expensive coin I have? The most expensive coin I've bought would be the uh, Stephen Hawking Hawking um, 50p. Because I had to buy it from eBay, unfortunately. Because it sold out on the Royal Mint before I got there. There we go. Hello Scottish Craig. Right, uh, that's post mint damage, so I don't want to keep that one. The rest of these are all going to go back into the bag. How much was the was the Stephen Hawking? Oh, it was about. It was, um, um, more than I should have paid for it. Right. Very elegantly. I've got the 10 Ps. Very elegantly reached over and grabbed them. Matthew Davy. Love the hat. Thank you very much. And the little pin badge. That... Uh -oh, what's going on in YouTube? What's going on on YouTube? It's all gone a bit slow. Let me just reload the stream. Oops, we're back. Well, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Went offline for a split second. Well, we're back. What cameras are we using to film the coin videos? The videos I use... Um, That's my camera, Canon EOS 80D. And now I've got the hang of it. It's pretty good. For the live streams, it's a Logi, Logi something HD 1080p doodad. In your next video, you'll wear a cowboy hat. Amazing. 10 pence coins I've never come across. They are tough to find. What's my full-time job? I'd rather not say. But I do work full-time, in addition to doing the videos. We've got a lot of loose coins in this bag. Holy Toledo. 
tool is spilling out. What's going on here? See, when I take my coins back to the bank, I'm very careful. I double bag all the 10 pieces, so I know they spill out, and it's a real pain. But I swear that is the equivalent of about two bags that have emptied themselves out here. Never go on holiday with a bunch of friends for more than a weekend. You'd all come back and unsub to each other. Well, we've spent a fair bit of time together at the... Um, at the Royal Mint, and we've all gotten along. Any tips for managing YouTube and work? Waste no time at all. Every moment is something you could be doing to be productive. But uh, my big advice with YouTube, especially if you're just starting, or if you've at the point where you've got a couple of hundred subscribers or whatever, try not to follow your subscriber count too obsessively, because you'll find yourself um, tying that into your own self-worth so for instance I know for a fact my world coin hunts that go up on a Sunday just for the live stream don't do as well as the 50p hunts or the two pound hunts there's not a lot I can do about that because the there are less um, people interested in than the 50p's or two pound coin hunts but I don't beat myself up about that I just know there is a there's a bunch of people that really like those, make, watching those videos and I like making those videos But yeah, if something works, keep doing it. But especially if you're looking to start up your own coin hunting channel. Because I was very lucky when I started, there was only, what, three people doing it. Absolute Coins, UK Coin Hunt and UK Coin Hunter. So it wasn't exactly a saturated market. Now we've got tons of people doing it, which is great for us coin collectors that like watching the videos. But you need to find out what your niche is. What, makes your, what will make your channel different from everyone else that is making the coin videos. And I mentioned it in the past, like Laughter's video, because Laughter started making videos. Um, he does a little series called um, Coin Stall Hall, which I think is awesome, and I love watching that. And it's very different from what everyone else is doing. Thank you very much, Matthew Davy. Super chatted one pound forty nine. Very kind of you. Oh, and I forgot something else. I'm plugging at the moment. Over on Absolute Coins' channel. We did what well, he did. He hosted a coin quiz whilst we were all the, up at the Royal Mint. Not the last time, the time before that. Numismatically challenged. So if you haven't watched it, I would highly recommend it. It was great fun doing it. And the people that have watched it already have thoroughly enjoyed it. And you've got myself and Total Coins. You've got Bungle Collects and Lady M. Absolute Coins hosting. And King Arias and Coin Cupboard as well. So uh, you've got a whole bunch of people there. So head on over to Absolute Coins and be sure to give that a watch. They put a lot of time and effort into it and the lovely Duvetto as well helps with the, um, the graphics on it. Just picked up 2009, 2010, 11, 12, 13, one ounce American Silver Eagle Coins. Wow, very nice. I do a series on my channel called Blast from the Past where I look at my old coins. There you go, see, that's something a bit different. Any tips on getting coins if you can't do bank runs? Again, my advice is tell everyone you're collecting, your friends, your family, if you're at school, people you go to school with, work colleagues, whatever. The more people you have looking, the more chances you'll have of finding something. But also you can ask in, in stores. Don't be afraid to ask for certain coins. Say, oh, I need 50p's or I need 10p's. And if you don't want to admit that you're collecting coins, so you need it for the parking meters. <laughs> Grimbig says, I'm sorry, I missed that. Uh, what, did I, well, what did you miss? <laughs> I don't know, I was in my little world then. Breaking news, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, camp was burgled last night. Police are still trying to identify the victims. <laughs> I recognise a couple of people that are on this show, to be fair. But they seem to get lots of soap stars. I've never been into soaps, so those people I don't recognise. 
Oh, we've got a couple of loose ones again here. How much is the navy two pound coin worth? Uh, three to five pounds, I'd say. Five to seven if you've got the flag errors. They're fairly low mintage as well, it's about 650,000. When you go to announce the winner of the eBay challenge, we are hoping to record that on Tuesday, so I'm hoping that will be Thursday's video. If we can all get together. The problem is we all have very, very different working patterns and trying to find a time where all six of us, five or six of us, I can't remember how many other of us there are now. I think there's six of us. Um, trying to get a time where we are all free is pretty tricky. But we're hoping to all get, get, all get together on Tuesday and get a, a, a winner's video sorted. Because I'm dying to know who won as well. I am absolutely desperate to know who won as well. Do you have any single one pound notes left? I do. They're over on my website, www.christophercollects.co.uk, if you wish. How many silverproof two pound coins have you collected? Uh, ooh, I've got a fair few. Uh, I'm trying to think what the first one. My first silverproof I bought was last year's Gruffalo, and I bought I've bought every one that's come out since, and I've managed to buy a couple of older ones as well. <laughs> a thief broke into the police station last night and stole all the toilets. The police say they have nothing to go on. <laughs> oh dear. That's a good one, Caledonian Coins. I'll give you that. I like that one. This bag is not as good as the first bag, was it? We have found the sum total of diddly squats. We need some more luck. We need some more luck. I need some more lucky tokens. <laughs> I've got my fez, my pin badge, my winner's medallion. What happens if you eat Christmas decorations? You get tinselitis. <laughs> How long have you been doing coin collecting? Um, I've collected coins on and off since I was a kid. I started up again uh, with the collection I've got now in early 2018. Hello, Justin Barnes. Thank you for tuning in. Christopher, can you hi from me to the coin tubers and fantastic friends over YouTube from all of us on the OG? There you go. For all of you coin tubers, Master Temple sends his regards. Now, alphabets. we found some in the first bag. We found two in the first bag, F and H. But we haven't found anything in the second bag so far. It's been a bit of a bust so far. 
Laughter says, good evening, Dan Temple. <laughs> Can you say hello to... No, I cannot. Unbelievable. You must think I just fell out of the lemon tree. <laughs> what cars do elves drive? Toyotas. Thank you very much. Alfie Smith has super chatted one pound nine cents as a friend gave me a Q Gardens and Puddock. Wow. I need some friends like that. <laughs> Can't bet you were made up. Hello. Uh Monster Left. Thank you for tuning in. What do you call a Japanese car thief? Tommy took a motor. <laughs> Unbelievable. Is that PC? Is that PC? Probably not. Not in, not in 2019, I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> That's the problem with these. With, with, when we start doing jokes on the stream, it all takes a downward slope um, towards being un. Uh, 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 on PC. Uh, what am I doing? Just curious. We are looking for alphabet 10 P's. So every letter of the alphabet, there is something quintessentially British. Wait, that's not one. That's one. So that's Houses of Parliament, for example. Every letter of the alphabet has something on it. it has something that's quintessentially British. Issued in 2018 and 2019. And that's what we're looking for. Why are there no accent accidents in the North Pole? Because there's good elf and elf and safety. Bungle, 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 bungle. How many rare coins have I got all together? A fair few. A fair few. Nothing from this bag yet though. Holy Toledo. This has not been a good luck. What's my Discord? I'm sure someone over on Twitch would be kind enough to post a link to the Discord server. Like I said before, you do have to be over 13 to be on Discord. That's their rules, not mine. Then why wasn't the letter Q the Queen? Well, the Queen's on all of them, isn't it? Who's Santa's favourite singer? Elf is Presley. Elf is Presley. Unbelievable. You'd think it was Christmas dinner right now. We're all sat around at one great big Christmas dinner. How rare are the 10 peas? The 10 peas are pretty scarce. You're lucky in £100 to find one or two of them. Very low mintage figure. Uh, do you have the collection of 10 pences? I think I've got pretty much all of them now. But obviously I only have... I don't have full books yet because we haven't been lucky enough to find every single one on the videos yet. Even on the YouTube videos themselves. I was watching a snowman go through loads of carrots the other day. He was picking his nose. <laughs> oh dear, do better. I'm outrageous. Christopher Clex, what's the rarest coin you found it in your world coin grab bags um that's a good question um well there was one well that's treasures from the peer box actually that wasn't a world grab bag hmm laughter probably knows it must be i would hazard a guess that it'd be one of the ones that one of the mystery bags i bought from laughter because some of them were particularly low Mintages. What happened to the man who stole the advent calendar? He got 25 days. <laughs> Great. Amazing. Uh, 
Oh, this feels. This does feel like Christmas dinner. All these jokes. Was that Toledo. headed for a Christmas market today and saw a Yorkshire pudding wrap, veg, turkey, etc. wrapped up in a Yorkshire pudding? That does sound nice, to be fair. Uh, Redsky has hosted the Twitch with a viewer. Thank you very much. Holy Toledo. Matthew Davey super chatted <laughs> on YouTube with a joke. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? Don't worry, he woke up. Amazing. I must have, when I saw that the word kidnapping, I was like, uh oh, here we go. Here we go. This is going to be what we can't say. But thank you very, very much, Matthew Davey. All I'm going, all I'm going to say, all you're going to say is what, Amber? <laughs> Love stream, thank you very much, Lewis TV. It's clickety click, hee haw, hee haw. It's dominate the Christmas donkey. <laughs> you have Ch Chinese food on Christmas Eve. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Why don't you ever see Santa in hospital? Because he has private elf care. There we go. <laughs> I think Master Temple's enjoying Dominic the Christmas Donkey. <laughs> oh, Total Coins got there first. Thank you very much, Total Coins. Sherlock's rare or not? We won't know until the minty figures come out. I am not expecting them to be rare though. I would hazard a guess at over 5 million. Why did the baker. <laughs> oh god. Why did the baker have brown knees? He needed a poo. Unbelievable. <laughs> Dear lord. Have folks been mad at the Christmas crackers already? I reckon they have. I think these are all Christmas cracker jokes. This is now for the next few weeks. Christmas jokes will stream. Do I live in Cardiff? Nope. I live in uh, Hampshire in Basingstoke. I wish I lived in Cardiff though. Man, that would be... I would go to the Royal Mint every weekend if I lived that close. I would have a whole horde of um, strike your owns. How long have I been making? How long have I been making coin hunt videos? Uh, since early twenty eighteen. So next February will be two years. Wait, where are you going? Wow, this bag has been pretty pants. Holy Toledo! Holy Toledo. Tylo Mater 2004 has joined the hunt on Twitch, thank you. God, this is an old bag. Alliance in Leicester. Alliance and Leicester haven't existed for donkey's years. They're part of the Santander group now, aren't they? I swear they've been part of the Santander group for over a decade. Well, I hope the next bag, the, the, well, the last bag, the last 50p bag is a lot better than this.
I heard the mint stop making coins. It just doesn't make sense. Sense. Very good. Don't say donkey, you'll set Master Temple up. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we need a miracle. How did Darth Vader know what Luke got him for Christmas? He felt his presence. Why did Adele cross the road to say hello from the other side? Where'd you get the coins from? I get them from my banks. Oh dear, people, people over on YouTube are spamming donkey now. <laughs> We will summon the letter D by saying donkey over and over and over. Hope you find an alphabet or a territory on you and me both. <laughs> uh, when is most likely to rain money? When there's a change in the weather. <laughs> Whoopsie. Give <laughs> it to people. What? Hello, Steve Diamond. Thank you for tuning in. What have you missed? In this bag, nothing. We have found absolutely squats not even diddly squat just squat in this bag but earlier we found olympic archery and fencing and the two pounds we found the navy centenary no flag error and we found two alphabet 10 p's in the first bag we found h and f oh yeah that's our star pool so far <laughs> A very red lion. Which bank do I get coins from? I get it. I use three different banks. I get the coins for the videos from a TSB. I get the coins for the live streams from a NatWest, and I pay them into a Lloyd's bank. But I have business accounts, which make a difference in some places. Lots of banks will give will have a set a set limit on how much you can take out of a personal account. My friend found a Kew Gardens in his change in Norfolk. Wow. Very good going. Cool find so far then. Hope the luck continues. Well, I hope the luck starts with this bag. Where's Alex gone? Alex London. Has he fallen asleep again? <laughs> I found a Gibraltar, Gibraltar in Tempe in your change. Awesome. Which one did you find? I enjoy throwing coins in the river and watching them. I like studying my cash flow. <laughs> Dan Temple is singing the Christmas, uh, Dominic the Christmas Donkey. Very good. Very good. If you listen carefully enough, you might be able to hear him. Because he gets into that song. Man, oh man, we've still got two bags left to go. I need a drink. The Weirdest Channel on YouTube says, Hope you find something good. By the way, love your videos. Thank you very much. You can't read everything. That's very true. There are lots of messages that fly past. Gracie XXX is back. Thank you very much.
can't say, but you've had fun talking. Well, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that not everyone can hang around for almost three hours. But I'm grateful for the time you have spent. And I'm glad you enjoyed it. Man, oh man. This is the penultimate bag. Come on, we've got to find something. We've got to find something. I hope you get more attention. I find your videos, videos, videos really entertaining to watch. Thank you very much, Lewis. Les, Les likes coins is back. Thank you. Have you missed much? Uh, that depends when you left. Um, this bag we have found the sum total of one red line, and that's about it. Um, other than that, the two pounds we found a navy centenary, which is nice. We had a couple of scares. I thought we might have found a um, Shakespeare comedies a couple of times, but luckily we didn't. Uh, 50 piece we found Olympic archery and um, Olympic fencing, along with three Battle of Hastings. Or was it four Battle of Hastings? Look how shiny that one is. What's going on with that? Hang on, did you see that? Who saw that? Am I doing 50p's? Yes, we've got one bag of 50p's left, which we'll be going back to. I'm going to see if anyone spotted that. Redsky found, spotted it. Amy Borton Lear is back with pizza. Ooh. Oh, Gracie saw it. Gilo Alberto Gelfi saw it. Flo Flo saw it. Dan Lester found it. Saw it. We've got an old 5p. We found something. Woohoo! Unbelievable. What year is that? 1975. There we go. Oh, we, we've just nulled the win from earlier. Exactly. We're, well, we're still 5p up. We're still 5p up. We found 20p in the previous bag. We found 5 pence in this bag. So we're still 5p into the profit. Damned. I know, outrageous. That bank has stolen five pence off of me. I am outraged. <laughs> the star of the show, it feels like it. This bag, that five pence is the star of this finding this bag. Wowee, well, that was a poor showing in that bag. Unbelievable. We found a very red line. And we found a five pence. Well, the red line's going back in the bag. But I'll be keeping that five pence. At least we found something that's worth keeping. And I'm going to go wash my hands for the last time of the stream. And when I get back, I don't get why some people wash their coins. I know lots of people ask me about cleaning coins, and I don't recommend doing it. It's just Finn wants a shout out. There you go. Right, I will be back in a moment.
And we're back for the last bag of the stream. We have got 50 peas. Dan Taylor's gone to say sorry to a special lady. I imagine that's apologising for singing Dominate the Christmas Dog at the top of his lungs. <laughs> So to call it uh, Master Tablet in the doghouse. The weirdest channel on YouTube wants a shout out. There you go. Liam Shannon needs someone with no lage. Anyone got no lage? Tristan Shaw thinks he found a two mule 20 peas, but not the undated ones. Mm. Is there anywhere to find a list of all the rare coins to look out for? Um, my recommendation for Lowflow would be going to Change Checker. They've got their scarcity index. It's a little pyramid. The rarest ones are on top. Most common ones are down the bottom. I kept a screenshot of it on my phone to help me out until I learnt it. If you have a really grotty coin that you want to keep and it's a modern one, soak in limescale toilet cleaner. Like sill it bang for an hour at a time until you get your requirements. I wouldn't, I wouldn't clean coins. Oi, Bungu. I've had my little announcement. Vaping is bad for you. Don't do it. I do it, but do as I say, not as I do. I found 10 Alm coin with Caesar's head. Is it rare? I haven't got a clue. Cameron Nicole wants a shout out. There you go. Right, last bag. What are we going to find? We can find some scissors to begin with. Katie Jones reckons wrestling. Unbelievable. Is the two pound twenty fifteen Britannia rare? Yeah, it's a fairly low mintage, six hundred and fifty thousand. It's always a nice find. Let's see what we find then. Let's see if we get more luck in this bag than that last 10p bag, because that was pretty pants. We've got Ironside there. Where's RW? I haven't seen RW in the chat. It's RW's favourite coin, if you haven't heard. Did you see the Haggis Pizza? I saw the Haggis Pizza. Oof. I'd try it, to be fair. I would try it. Got to have a wrestling here. Alex Blunden is back. He's woken up from his nap. Stevie Rob says, need to go. Happy hunting. Nice chatting to you all. Have a good night. Well, thank you for tuning in. It's not going to happen. We're not going to find a wrestling on the live stream. We've already got wrestling on the live stream, so we want them for the videos. Oops, you didn't realise Caledonian coins were still here. What did you say? You weren't bad mouthing Caledonian coins, were you? <laughs> Ironside's favourite Olympic is wheelchair rugby. <laughs> is Paddington Bear worth anything? I wouldn't be surprised if the 2018's creep over face value. 2019's I have no idea. We've got another Ironside there. There we go. 
Napping to recover from last night's voice chat. <laughs> you brought that all upon yourself. This one's going rubbish, so yeah, well. You can't win them all. You can't win them all. But all it takes is that one coin, though. That one coin could make it all worth it. Certain people were in the voice chat and gone 4 a.m. the other morning. I heard. I heard. You would say the dictionary is supposed to be common, but I've never found one. Uh, in terms of the scarcity, it is a pretty common one. And I'm sure you'll come across one soon. Oh, we really aren't finding anything, are we? Holy Toledo. We need to get a bit more luck. Hello, Grusy Coin Hunts. Oh, I take a Benjamin Buddy right now. What is going on? Oh, I forgot to say, the second of my signed Benjamin Bunnies turned up as well. Someone sent me a picture on Instagram, which was very cool. Again, it appeared in South Wales. So that's two of them that have turned up, both in South Wales. We all know where my coins go after I pay them into the bank. Uh, this is all the coins he took back last week. It feels like it, doesn't it? It does feel like it sometimes. But, oh, there we go. We found something. Paddington at the tower. 1-0. Mm, 1-0. Tower versus cathedral. That's right. We'll find loads of cathedrals now. It's going to happen. That's 2006. I thought it might have been 2008. There's Benjamin Bunny, Rodney Bunny himself. Hydrated Pelican lives in South, South Wales. I hope you find one as well. I'll cross my fingers for you. If you do find one, do send me a picture. In Wales again, exactly. Bizarre, isn't it? Smash the like button. Thank you very much, Gary C. Cross fingers for you. I think we need everyone to cross all their fingers, all their toes. Cross your legs, cross your feet. Try not to fall off your chair. Peter Rabbit from 2017. He's not worth writing home about. But like I said, it, all it takes is one coin. Not that one, though. <laughs> not that one, though. We found two Olympics in the last bag, though. So who knows? Whoopsie. Knocking things over. That's not what we're just trying to do. No, I can't, Matthew Davy. <laughs> Amber Wakeling's crossed her eyes for me. <laughs> We've got Benjamin Bunny. <laughs> Coin cupboard's toes are freezing uh, after being out all day. Can't cross them, they'll snap off. We've got a dictionary. 
and another Peter Rabbit. Well, at least we know this isn't a bag that I've had previously because I'd have kept that Paddington at the tower. It is, after all, going to be the rarest of the Paddingtons. I'm reliably informed. Do you know the date on Stoke, Strike Your Own Snowman? Uh, I'm going on the 14th, 1 pm tour. We've got a people act there, a representation of the people act, which has turned out to be very common. And we've got another iron side. Team GB there, another common one. Here's Tom Kitten 50p rare. No, that's quite a common one. The whole 2017 set is pretty common. Whoa, whoopsie. Just sent things flying over here. Christopher, do you want to Kew Gardens? I'm lucky enough that I found two previously. But I hear a lot of people, all that they want for Christmas is Q. <laughs> is it possible to get a silver penny? Yeah, so they were they do make silver pennies once a year. You can buy them for like a like christening presents or when you have a child, you can buy the silver pennies. We've got another iron side. Wow, four iron sides. Where did you get all these coins from? I get them from my banks. I have business accounts there, which make a difference in some places. Whoops. Come on, we've got to find something. There we go, Paddington at the Cathedral. That is one Paddington at the Tower and one Paddington at the Cathedral. Even Stevens for now. But I'm sure there'll be plenty more cathedrals where that one came from. What's the best Isle of Man TT? I have the 1997. I think 1997 is the common one. I forget what the what year is the uncommon one. I'm sure Laughter will be able to tell you. Laughter or Frankie, they're both um, fonts of territory's knowledge. Hope I find a Q, hope you, you hope I find a Q Guns. Thank you very much. Has anyone bought the 50 years of the 50p set? Is it worth it? I've got them. Not in silver, just in um, brilliant uncirculated. I think they're pretty cool. I like them. Oh no. That is two towers and Juan Cathedral. We won't, we won't dwell on that too much. We won't dwell on that too much. We've got a Tiggy Winkle there from 2016. How much is Sherlock Holmes worth? We won't know till we get the vintage figures. We can't give you we can't give you an accurate price until we know exactly how many were made. What's my favourite coin in general? Frankenstein, two pound coin. Do I keep all the tea winkles? I do. With all the 2016 Beatrix Potters that I find. There's a dictionary. Is coin collecting tapering off in the UK with less coin shops? I don't think so, but I would imagine that lots of people would buy their coins online 
because it does uh, broaden the horizons of the coins that you would that you can get. Whereas if you go into your shop, you've just got whatever they can, whatever they've got in stock. Whereas online, you've got more of a range of things you can buy. Another Peter Rabbit. We've got a Battle of Britain. Is it going to be a JC or is it going to be an IRB though? Do you keep all the unique coins you get off each hunt? Uh, I keep all the rarer ones. The rest go back to the bank. Let's have a look. It's just a JC, unfortunately. One of these days, one of these days we'll find an IRB Battle of Britain. Is the 2015 Britannia £2 any good? Yes, it is. Wowee. We are not having much luck in this bag. We had a lot better luck in that first bag. Hydrated Pelican thinks the Paddington's will both be around 8 million. Mm. People order coins you search. I have seen these in change. Hey. Olympic uh, tennis, Olympic coin rare. All the Olympics are rare. Any Olympic you find is going. But tennis is a very good one. Is two pounds St. James Bible worth something? Yeah, it's been more than face value, definitely. I don't see it very often at all. Well, we've got Victoria Cross, the medals there, which is another common one. What's my day job? I'd rather not say. You think you've just seen a 2011 shield? Well, I'll be going through them over on Discord after the live stream. So if you're on Discord, head on over. We've got Paddington at the station there. Very cute design. It's my favorite Paddington. I have a really rare 1933 penny in bad condition. Should I sell it? I would imagine. That might not be real. I would hazard a guess. Unless you have it in one of those authenticated doodads. Oh, there we go. Hallelujah. <laughs> we have some luck still. We still have some luck. Woohoo. Olympic rowing. Very, very nice. It's about time we found something as well. Have you ever accidentally gone past a commemorative 50p or £2? Not to my knowledge. Any good £2 coin finds? We found... Um, what did we find? I can't remember. Oh, the Navy Centenary. Which is very nice. We got something. Two blokes rowing. <laughs> if it's not two blokes fighting... It's two blokes rowing. We've got Benjamin Buddy there. Now let's see if we can get any more luck before we get to the end of this bag. Master Temple singing row, row, row your boat. We've got what? Six bags to go. So there's still a chance. There's still a chance. Two universities fighting. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather be married to coin cupboard or bungle well they're both spoken for they're both spoken for 
iron side there. Ooh, that's another nice one. UK's entry into the EEC. Very nice. Master Sam was not allowed to sing anything else. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Bungle's laughing. <laughs> uh, you collect uncirculated coins, e.g. Stephen Hawking. And my friends are asking me what I want for Christmas. So I suggest a piece from the Royal Mint and circulated. Yeah, definitely. I, keep, I buy the uncirculated ones as well. Bungo Collects Coin says, Coin Cupboard is much better looking. Coin Cupboard says, Harrison Orr, what a strange question. We're on the internet. That's the home of the strange people, to be fair. Coin 101 would say coin covered. <laughs> uh, did I get your PO box letter? Um, not yet. I have got. I'd have picked some stuff up yesterday from the PO box day, which uh, might be a video this week. Like a plastic mailbag. Mm, I'd have to check. We've got another Benjamin Bunny there. <laughs> Very good, Alex Blondin. Very good. Well, we've got three bags left. Well, we found an Olympic. And like I keep saying, if you find an Olympic, it's a success. It's a video in itself. It's a game in the letter. Hmm. Uh, do you think the Royal Mint should stop using plastic bags and use paper rolls? 100%, definitely. I'd sign that petition. Although, I don't think it's the Royal Mint's choice. I think it's the Treasury that chooses. The only thing I'd say is though, how would you re-roll coins? It's not something I've ever had to do. Is it tricky? Have we got any American viewers that have got experience re-rolling coin rolls? All of a sudden we are onto the last bag. Who knows? I have a rare milk bottle. Full fat, very rare. <laughs> oh dear, it's very true. But, ooh, oh damn. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about that. This is the Christopher Clex biased. <laughs> for those of you that have enjoyed the stream, thank you very much for tuning in. For those of you that popped in for some for a little bit, thank you very much for tuning in. I've had all awesome fun as usual. But it looks like that's it. So not the best success, but we did find an Olympic, so I shan't grumble. It's always nice finding an Olympic. Olympic rowing as well. Very nice. Duvet has been outside, saw a shooting star. Does that mean you found anything good? Well we got we got rowing. We got rowing, we can't complain. 
Can I show you all my silver proofs? Uh, not right now. You can find plastic rolls and can use them many times. Oh, really? But there we go. Is rowing a new book? Is, is rowing new for the book? I don't think it is, but I'll double check just to be sure. Um, it is. Woohoo! We finally got something new for the book. Very cool. We are ticking them off. Before you know it, we'll be stuck on just Kew Garden on the live streams. Could you imagine it? There we go. Olympic rowing. Very, very happy with that. Well, who have we still got over on Twitch then? We've still got Master Temple, Alex Blunder, and Frankie Franks, Hydrated Pelican, Duvetto, Amber Wakeling. Thank you very much for tuning in. We're going to bring it to an end over on Twitch first. As soon as I remember how to do that. As soon as I remember how to do this. Um, we'll go with someone different a bit today. We've also got Chalky Gardens, Lynn Mills, and Total Coins. Thank you very much for tuning in. Well, for those of you on Twitch, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye. And for those of you still on YouTube, thank you very much for tuning in. Who have we still got? We've got Coin101 Hope, we've got Coin Cupboard, Gracie XXX, Amy Bolton Lear, Caledonian Coins, Lee Rixton. Uh, GSA Wolf Coins, Ty Evans, Gwenna Hedden, uh, the weirdest channel on YouTube, Womble Alley Collects, Francis Mulhern, to Martin Thomas, uh, who else? Uh, Denise Haynes, Dave UK, Flow Flow, Ashley Sparrowhawks, Laughter, Grossy Coin Hunts, Bungle Collects Coins, Caledonian Coins again, Coin 101 Hope, Just Evie, Pigskin Sport, <laughs> amazing, Laughter, Coin Covered. Ben Smith, Katie Jones, Mark Abbott, Karen Ross, Josh Meadows, Dave Cullen Photography, GSA Wolf Coins, Callum, Callan, JHB, Steve Diamond, and Dean Hopkins. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins.